The one I lift in, I go by a dude. I'm always nice, yeah, I'm never rude. You don't need two eyes to see that dude knows his rhymes. He's the lifty rapper, and I'll wear my black eye pad. Knows his chairs. There you are. Good job. And his snow. Slushy and wet. Springtime, we get a lot of corn snow. And then we have snurt, which is snow dirt mix. We've seen a lot of that this year, even at the top of Mount Spokane. Ah, we're right now, I think, at about 55% normal snowpack. It's at 46 inches currently, so we're well below. The mountains of eastern Washington and north Idaho are currently under moderate and severe drought due to the lack of snow on the ground. You know, as a lifty, we deal with snowpack pretty much every day. This lack of snow on the ground isn't necessarily a new thing. 2003-2004 season, I believe they closed on Valentine's Day. USDA data depicts a decrease over time in the snow water equivalent at snow tells around the region. 2013-14 season, we suspended mountain operations the Sunday before President's Day. Between 1955 and 2022, all stations in eastern Washington and north Idaho recorded a reduction in peak snowpack. Higher elevations, that number is just over 20%. One lower elevation station in North Idaho measured a drop of more than 70% from 1955 to 2022. But we're getting snow. We got a little bit today and every little bit helps for sure. It's all up to mother nature. You're the weatherman, right? <laughs> The mountains of eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, and North Idaho sit in the rain shadow of the Cascades. While the Pacific Ocean serves as an excellent moisture source for much of the western side of those states, as that moisture moves from west to east or zonally, it first hits the mountains, pushing upward. That rising motion in the atmosphere causes the warmer, moist air to first cool, then condense, forming clouds and eventually precipitation. That enhances the amount of rain or snow that you see in the Cascades, giving you more than you otherwise would and squeezing out more moisture than otherwise would get squeezed out. But as you move up and over the mountains, all that air has to come back down. This sinking motion quells cloud cover and precipitation, leaving much of central Washington and Oregon in a rain shadow or a desert. But as you move east from there, things get interesting once again. As elevation starts to increase in eastern Washington, rain and snow become more prevalent. Once again, the increase in elevation enhances precipitation. How's your day going, guys? Whether it falls as snow there you go. or rain. You learn to deal with the elements. Uh, previously frozen liquefied precipitation days because we don't use the R word up here. But it's not just the overall amount of snow. It's also how long that snow sticks around. Between 1982 and 2022, the Northern Rockies, right where we are, has seen an average decrease in about 15 to 20 days per season of that snow being on the ground. So not only are we not getting as much, it's just not sticking around as long, and early spring warmth is melting it much faster. I think the biggest impact is going to be environmentally. It all depends on mountain snowpack is so important, especially for this region. Dude sees it here on the mountain. Come on out! But we will all see it when it comes to mountain runoff, increase in fire danger, and a longer fire season this summer. How's your day going? For Environment Northwest. Good. What's your name? Noah. Noah. Have a good run, Noah. I'm meteorologist Jeremy Legu.